August 17th. On this day, we celebrate the memory of the Holy Haramata Miran. At the time of Decius' persecution, in about 250, Antipater, the governor of Achaia, one day invaded the church where the Christians were celebrating the Feast of the Nativity with the intention of arresting the most eminent of them and to constrain them by torture to sacrifice to the gods of the empire. Myron, a priest beloved of all for his gentleness and nobility and who had earlier been a friend of Antipater, rushed to the magistrate and violently reviled him. He then turned towards the faithful and exhorted them to remain firm on the rock of faith, trusting that Christ would not only give them the courage to resist the tyrants, but also would grant them the kingdom of heaven. Antipater, in fury, withdrew and ordered that the saint be arrested, and he later had him appear before him in the forum near the temple of Dionysius. When the magistrate called on him to sacrifice to this god, Myron replied that he only recognized the one sovereign God Almighty whose throne is in heaven. They stretched him on a rack to flay him alive, but surmounting the suffering, the saint sang psalms and repeated, I am a Christian and I will not offer sacrifice. The governor then had him cast into a fiery furnace, the flames of which were heated to more than 50 cubits. Protected by divine grace, the valiant martyr was not burnt by it and cried out, we went through fire and water, and thou hast brought us out into a place of refreshment. At his prayers the flames spread outwards and reduced a hundred and fifty idolaters who were there to ash. The governor fled, yelling to his guards to return the saint to prison. When evening came, Antipater, after having consulted with his advisers, had the martyr taken to the Agora. He could not at first recognize him, as his face was filled with light, but Myron assured him that it was he himself. Antipater condemned him to have all his skin flayed off in strips. While the torturers were doing this, from his shoulders to his feet, the valiant martyr sang, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me. Then, taking in his hand a blood-stained strip of skin, he threw it in the tyrant's, tyrant's face, saying, You impious man, you delight in this sight. Know, however, that I endure these torments with ease because of the hope that I nourish. As for you, you will only inherit eternal punishment. The executioners gave themselves to the redoubling of his sufferings, but the saint remained unmoved, his gaze fixed on heaven. In response to his prayer, a voice was heard by all present, saying, Your battle will soon be over. A throne is prepared in heaven. Returned to prison, Myron was then thrown to the wild beasts in the amphitheater. Armed with the sign of the cross, he stood before them, and they did not dare approach him, but respected him as Adam before the fall. A wild lioness, having been unleashed against him, it came and fawned at his feet, breaking his bonds with its fangs. It then found a human voice to tell the magistrate of his coming end, while the people uttered great cries of admiration. Antipater, filled with panic at these prodig prodigies, died by his own hand. St. Myron was then taken to Sisychus, where, after having shown his unshakable trust in God to the governor, he was beheaded. Blessed be the Lord always, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and the Amen. Amen. Thy martyr, O Lord, in his courageous contest for thee, received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life, from thee our immortal God. For since he possessed thy strength, he cast down the tyrants and wholly destroyed the demon's strengthless presumption. O Christ God, through his prayers, save our souls, since thou art merciful. Come, O ye people, let us turn to him, to Christ God, who divided the sea and guided the people whom he had led forth from the bondage of Egypt, for he has been glorified. O holy Hiram, Arthur, Myron, pray to God for us. As we form a choir of the memorial of the prize winner Myron, let us all sing praise unto God, who gave him strength to destroy the dominion of the adversary. Holy Hiram, Arthur, Myron, pray to God for us. Striving lawfully, O much containing martyr, thou didst offer thyself as a gift unto the benefactor, as a sacred oblation, an acceptable victim, and a sweet-smelling sacrifice. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As a man of prudence, as a pure temple of him that shone from a virgin, O glorious one, thou drawest from the divine drove, the soul-destroying wolf, when he attacked to render Both him. now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O immaculate lady, thou alone without experience of wedlock hast conceived God, whom when the prize-winning martyrs confessed to have become like unto us, they destroyed error. Upon the rock of faith hast thou now confirmed me, thou hast enlarged my mouth over mine adversaries. My spirit has rejoiced mightily in chanting, There is none holy as our most holy God, and there is none righteous but thee, O Lord Most High. O holy Hiram, Arthur, Myron, pray to God for us. Lifting up the desire of thy heart unto the Lord, who was lifted up on the cross, thou was lifted up on a stalk and scraped, O prize winner, eagerly singing, There is none righteous but thee, O Lord. Holy Hiram, Arthur, Myron, pray to God for thou us. Thou didst fix the sharp and arrows of thy words deep in the heart of the tyrant, O noble and all famed soldier of Christ the King. And while chanting, Thou didst say there is none righteous but thee, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou art risen up like the morn, like the day, O much suffering mire, and dissolving the gloom of ignorance, and enlightening them that daily chant. Thou art, O God, and there is none righteous but thee, O Lord. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When thou brought forth God the healer, thou didst wondrously healed the whole creation, ailing with godlessness, O Virgin. And we give thee thanks as we shout, there is none blameless but thee, O Lady. O ye faithful, gather now, let us crown my run with our sacred songs and hymns that breathe the myrrh of godly praise. For we receive strength in every ill from the most glorious athlete of sacred fame. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As we celebrate the feast of thy most hallowed, passing hence, O thou all hymned, all holy mother of our God, we sing thy praises in piety. Do not forsake us who hymn thee with loving hearts. I hymn thee, O Lord, for I have heard report of thee, and I was afraid. 
for thou comest to me seeking me who have strayed. Wherefore I glorify thy great condescension toward me, O greatly merciful one. O holy Haram Artemire, and pray to God for us. In the midst of the stadium, thou didst confess the Saviour and God and Lord, who shone from the Virgin, O glorious Myron, humbling the tyrant's pride by thy endurance and making polytheism to vanish. Holy Haram Artemire, and pray to God for us. In no wise giving way while being scraped and beaten, O noble minded martyr, thou didst. Astound the angels as they looked upon thine endurance, whereby thou didst destroy fleshless adversaries and became the victorious martyr. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Dreaming with divine dew, thou didst valiantly enter the furnace of fire, and was seen to be rejoicing with angels therein. In no wise burnt by the flame, O wise and all blessed Myra. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The great and awful mystery of thy childbirth amazes every mind of your virgin, for in his goodness God was well pleased to become man from thee unto the salvation and refashioning of the world. O Christ, my Saviour, enlightenment of those who lie in darkness and salvation of the despairing. Rising early unto thee, O King of the world, may I be enlightened by thy radiance, for I know none other God than thee. O holy Haram Artemire, and pray to God for us. In the power of the Holy Spirit, thy divinely shining and light-bringing memorial has spread the light of piety out over all the world, enlightening those who reverence it and proclaim thy deeds of excellence. Holy Haram Artemire, and pray to God for us. With youthful vigor thou underwent bitter tortures, as though thou hast been fleshless, O courageous martyr. For when thou wast flayed, O glorious Myron, thou didst endure as if another was suffering, for thou wast truly strengthened with invisible mind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy pain save distilled sweet-smelling myrrh, O martyr, dispelling all the foul smell of atheism, and ever giving a sweet fragrance to the Holy Church of Christ, which in faith and longing does verily call thee blessed. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Importune him that was ineffably incarnate of thee for our sake, so blessed and all pure, that we who declare thee to be the Theotokos be rescued from all visible and invisible enemies, O pure and all blameless virgin. To the master from the monster, Jonas cried, Lead me up from the depth of Hades, I pray, that with the voice of praise and in the spirit of truth I may offer sacrifice to thee as my deliverer. O holy Haram Artemire, and pray to God for us. Thy drowned hordes of demons with the drops of thy sacred blood, O most valiant soldier, and has ascended unto God, wearing thy crown as a peerless victor. Holy Haram Artemire, and pray to God for us. Seeing thy countenance shining with divine brightness, the tyrants were astonished, O trophy bearer, and since they knew not God, they laid hold upon darkness and were sent into everlasting torment. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Enduring beyond nature the flaying of thy flesh, the decree of the most cruel tyrant, O admirable and all-blessed Myron, thou didst show the pure longing and wholehearted striving that thou hadst unto God. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The laws of nature are made in you in thee, O Virgin, for thou hast marvelously borne past nature, him who is incomprehensible by nature, God Emmanuel, for the regeneration of us, the faithful. Since thou didst love Christ from childhood, O Allah, did one, and strictly didst keep his precepts and divine commands, thou didst run wholeheartedly unto him, O Myron, and foundest rest, and with angels glorifiest him while asking divine forgiveness for us all. Let us all sing the praise of Myron, sanctified from the womb as the sweet-smelling and various myrrh of Christ. And he indeed grants healings of diseases to them that draw nigh with fervent faith. For since he burns with the love of the Creator, he suffers together with such as are in need, 
and the all-blessed man delivers them from adversities. He anoints all men with the grace given him of the Spirit as with myrrh, while asking divine forgiveness for us all. While asking divine forgiveness for us all. When the golden image was worshipped on the plain of Dura, thy three youths burned the ungodly command, and cast into the midst of the fire bedewed, they sang, Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers. O holy Haramata Myron, pray to God for us. Thy radiant mind set afire with divine longing, rejoiced and was exceedingly glad, O wise Myron, as thou stoodst amidst the flame like the three children of old, with whom thou didst faithfully cry, Blessed art thou, the God of our Father. Holy Haramata Myron, pray to God for Beholding us. Beholding angels standing with thee amidst the flame, shining, lighting like with an ineffable form, the onlookers were astonished so, and being moved to hymns of praise, they cried to the Master, Blessed art thou, the God of our Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With a pure mind, thou stoodst together with those angelic minds, exalting within the furnace, and sending up hymns to the transcendently good Lord, as he bridled the flame and saved thee as thou sangst. Blessed art thou, the God of our Father. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou becames the place containing God, O all holy virgin, his delightful palace and divine throne, sitting whereon he prepared a heavenly throne for all. For this cause we cry to thee, Blessed art thou who didst conceive God in the flood. To the Lord God who did descend to the Hebrew children in the fiery furnace, and did transform the flames and the burning heat into dew. Chant praises and hymns of all your works of his, and exalt him greatly to ages and all ages. O holy Haramata Myron, pray to God for us. When the demented judge saw thee unconquered, those strips of flesh had been cut to thy very bones, O valiant of mind. He brought forth iron clones to rend thee with unbearable wounds, being himself incurably stricken. Holy Haramata Myron, pray to God for oh, us. O glorious Martyr Myron, the word of God came unto thee from heaven in the hearing of the whole multitude, calling thee to the unspeakable yonder rest and the delightful choirs of angels. O oh, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou stoodst like Daniel in the midst of beasts, and reverenced thy blessed suffering and the infinite greatness of thy struggles, captive by thy living voice, O all blessed one. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Pierced by the enemy's dart, I am wounded throughout my whole soul and suffer incurably. O all blameless lady who gave birth to Christ the Saviour, O hope of the hopeless, heal me and save me. With one accord, let us faithful Lord with hymns guard the word who came forth from God and who ineffably took on flesh from a pure virgin for us, and in wisdom past telling descended to make Adam new again, who by eating fell grievously down into corruption's pits. O holy Haramata Myron, pray to God for us, that thou mightst be deemed worthy to see the glory which is to come, and the unutterable beauty of Christ, the setter of the contest. O most courageous Myron, thou dost bow thy neck and receive the stroke of the sword, and dost fill the divine battalions of the martyrs with joy. Holy Haramata Myron, pray to God for like us, like fragrant myrrh, sweetly anointing the hearts of the faithful, thy prize worthy the memorial is come for them that love thee, O prize-worthy Myron. Whereon do thou by thy intercessions fill with sweet divine fragrance us who keep the festival? Holy Haramata Myron, pray to God for us. I boast in thy swaddling bands and thy contest, O noble athlete of the Lord. But Caesicus delights yet more in thy much contending body, which he possesses as true riches, a well of healings, and a purge away of demons.
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The great elect city of all the saints that is in the highest spiritual Zion, the august church of the firstborn, as it is written, as thee as a martyr, forever making entreaty for our sakes, O pinnacle of martyrs. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We all cry the angels, greeting to thee, O Virgin, palace and throne of God. Rejoice thou through whom we who long ago were cast away in corruption, and foolishly lost our first beauty, have been deemed worthy of the kingdom of the heavens. The church does have the as a rose that sweetly breatheth forth with myrrh. Amiron, much suffering martyr, who was the fragrance of Christ God, for whom thou didst contest with joy, from whom great glory came to thee, and unto whom in every hour thou dost remember those honoring thee out of love, O famed one. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, Thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, of the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of Saint John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life giving cross and all the holy, bodiless powers of heaven, and the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Cicerus the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community. With the prayers of the holy Hieromater Myron, the presbyter of Ahia, who was beheaded at Sisychus in the reign of Decius. With the prayers of the holy martyrs Straton, Philip, Eutychian and Cyprian of Nicomedia. With the prayers of the holy martyrs Paul and Juliana, his sister in Palestine. With the prayers of the holy martyrs Tharsus at Apollonia, Lucius, Coronatus, and those with them. With the prayers of the holy new righteous martyr Demetrius of Samarina, who contested in the year 1808. With the prayers of a certain anonymous Agarin executioner, who believed in Christ through Saint Demetrius the new and was martyred for Christ's sake. With the prayers of the holy martyr Patroclus of Gaul, with the prayers of the holy martyrs Liberatus the abbot, Boniface the deacon, Servus and Rusticus the subdeacons, Rogatus and Septimus the monks, the child Maximus of Capsa in Africa, who were martyred at Carthage under Huneric the Arian king of the Vandals. With the prayers of Saint Eutychius, Saint Eutychian, and Cassian the sister in Crete. With the prayers of our righteous father Alypius, the iconographer of the Kiev Caves, with the prayers of Saint Theodoretus, the enlightener of the Laps, with the prayers of our righteous father Philip of Iacovo, with the prayers of the holy new Hieromartyrs Achilles, the archpriest, Michael the priest, a certain deacon, and ten others with them as Stravopol, who was slain by the atheists in 1921. With the prayers of St. Dredelm of Melrose, St. James of York, and St. Hire of Holland, and all of those with them whose memory we keep this day. With the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us, for he is good. And he loves mankind. Amen. By the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.